Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I haven't been on YouTube for a while, I just took a little bit of a break, um, just because I didn't really know what to film. I felt like my videos were getting really repetitive, so I thought I would just give a little bit of a break. I'm back, and you might notice that my hair is a bit different, so I just wanted to start by explaining my hair. So I basically have had my extensions out, and I've just had a toner on like the lighter bits, which are around my face and just kind of like the ends of my hair. Um, I did get my hair done about a week ago. Yeah, actually, exactly a week ago. Um, and the toner is not permanent, so it has washed out quite a bit. This was pretty dark when I first got it done. Um, so I am going to pop back, I think, early next week to get another toner put over it. But I'm basically going on a bit of a hair journey for the next kind of like six months, I think. Um, kind of just taking me around into spring. And I'm going to put some pictures in of what my hair was like naturally when I didn't dye it, when I didn't do anything to it. Um, I just left it and it grew so long, as you can see. And my natural hair is super dark, like my root colour is really dark. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of go back to my natural colour a little bit, um, back to the brunette, which I do love, and I just wanted to give my hair a rest from the extensions, um, because as you can see from those photos, I didn't really need extensions. My hair looked like I had extensions in, so yeah, dyeing it and getting balayage loads of times has just made my hair really weak and end up just snapping off, but I must say, I had my extensions taken out last week and I'm so impressed with the quality of my hair. Um, I've obviously kind of like stopped dyeing it now so it's started to grow in a little bit more. Like these side bits were so thin. Um, before I had the extensions in and yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So anyway, that's a little hair update for you. I'm also using a few different products that I just wanted to share with you in case you want to try them or you're just desperate for some help with your hair. So the first thing I'm trying to help my hair grow and thicken a little bit more is the JS Health Hair and Energy Supplements. I have actually worked with JS Health um, quite a bit in the past on Instagram. This is not sponsored at all. I bought these with my own money as well. Um, but they do sometimes gift me, just to let you know. Um, but I've been using these for about two weeks, and I don't know if it's just me, but I am noticing such a difference with these front bits of hair. Um, I can put in some pictures here of what my hair was like when I took my extensions out, and this bit was so fine and like kind of broken off here, and it's really, really filled in nicely. Um, I'm also noticing that my hair is so soft, like, I don't know if you can see the shine on my hair, it is so shiny, so, so soft, even, like, too soft, because it doesn't hold a curl at all, it just goes straight, um, which is fine, I want my hair to be really good quality, so I don't care about that, but that could be down to the fact that I'm also using Olaplex, so I'm using... I wash my hair probably like two to three times a week, which is like the recommended amount. And then I use dry shampoo in between. So I'm using the number four and number five shampoo and conditioner from Olaplex, the Bond maintenance ones. And everyone raves about Olaplex. If you don't already know about it, um, it is just incredible. Every single salon uses Olaplex. Everyone recommends it. Um, Jack's sister actually had loads of breakage on her hair um, and her hair went from like kind of my length to here like really really short a lot of hair broke off her hair's blonde as well and she started using Olaplex and with probably like two to three months it's completely grown back it's so thick so I knew that I had to get on the Olaplex hype so I ordered this from I think look fantastic I'll leave links to everything below again paid my own money um, and also, I've been using once a week, I love hair masks, I just absolutely love them, and I ordered the number 8 Bond Intense um, Moisture Mask, so I've been doing this once a week, and I leave this on for about 10 minutes, um, sometimes I have been leaving, I've been using this for about 2 weeks, 
So I did leave it on overnight once and then another time I just left it on for 10 minutes. But yeah, that's a little hair update for you. But first things first, today is Thursday and I'm actually on my way shortly to Viva Skin Clinic, which is based in Tunbridge Wells, but they also have um, their flagship store in, I think, Kings Road in London. And they've just opened a new one in Chelsea as well. So I, I'm basically getting a little bit of lip filler, which I know is super controversial and probably loads of you will be like, oh my God, why? Like, you don't need it, blah, blah. But it's always been something that I've thought about for such a long time and I know I've got lipstick on now, but this is kind of what I want my lips to be like when I don't have lipstick and lip liner, because I do overline my lips a little bit, um, just so they're a little bit more full and just a little bit more volume. But um, ever since I had my composite done, these two, my teeth were so small that my lips looked fine with my face, but ever since I've had my teeth done, I've noticed that my lips look a lot smaller. And I just feel like they don't look proportionate to my face when I don't have lipstick on. So I'm literally wearing lip liner and lipstick all the time. Even if I don't have much makeup on, I still put it on. And I'd rather not, I'd rather just have lip balm on or something like that. So anyway, I'm going down there today. I've already had a consultation um, a few weeks ago. And I'm going down today for my appointment, which I'm a bit nervous about because I've never had anything like this done before. I've never had filler, I've never had Botox or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I thought I would take you along with me just because I'm not the type of person that wants to get loads of filler and loads of things like that. So I wanted to show you from like a super, super natural perspective what it's like and take you along on the journey. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. of the um, what we're using like I don't know um, like yeah, I'll using. say I'll say what I'm using in my vlog. Or okay. do you want to be in the vlog or not? No, I'm not bothered. So okay, you do it yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm in Fever Skin. I've just got my numbing cream on. Carrie's just explained everything to me, like the whole process and everything like that. And I'm just waiting for the numbing cream to start working and then we're gonna get started. I'm not gonna film any of the actual treatment, but I will show you afterwards. And then I'm also gonna like update you in the next couple of days once um, any like swelling's gone down, it's just normal. We're just massaging now. Just getting the How did you find that? Fine. Really fine. I thought it was going to be so painful, but it's not really painful. It's more uncomfortable than the pain. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to see your results? Yes. Let me give you a... Will you sit forward, Laura? Yeah. Then you can have a... Thank you. Oh yeah, that's so good. Yeah, I love that. So, so natural. Yeah, just a subtle enhancement. And 0.5 mil will always only ever give you a subtle enhancement. But yeah. especially when you've got smaller lips, it's perfect. It's a yeah. perfect amount. Yeah, I wanted it to look like I had lip liner on. You know, that, that's exactly what it looks like. Thank you. And there's no yeah. bruising. Uh, no, because we've used a cannula, there isn't any bruising. Yeah. And more often than not, really, not much swelling either, to be honest, yeah. with the cannula either. Yeah. Yeah, it feels fine. It just feels like a little bit numb. Yeah. That's it. The only thing is, so um, just don't, you can touch, you can actually, because we've used cannula and we've gone in from uh, like the side of the lips, yeah. you can actually put a little bit of um, Vaseline or you yeah, do a okay. lip balm on, don't, but just don't okay. touch these little entry points okay. here on the side of the mouth okay. um, for the next uh, okay. four or five hours. Alright, fine. Um, my face is so white around my mouth. Is it so not tight. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we're just taking your makeup off, isn't it? Maybe we won't go for a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I um, match my foundation to my tan, so I don't tan uh, my face. Okay, okay. So my hair is always white. Yeah, <laughs> just leave. <laughs> 
So um, just a little bit of aftercare advice. Mm -hmm. um, no extreme heats for the next two weeks. Okay. Um, boiling hot baths, smaller steam rooms. Yeah. Okay. No exercise for the next 24 hours and no extreme mm -hmm. exercise for the next five days. Um, but that's it. Okay. Have yeah. you got any questions? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. No, no, no questions, yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Hello guys, I'm back home and the lip filler is all done. I wasn't really allowed to film too much in the actual um, like treatment room. Um, basically Carrie, the amazing nurse at Viva Skin, she's so, so good. She was saying that a couple of people have fainted recently and it was actually relatives of people getting something done. Um, just because they've seen the cannula and like panicked but i thought i would just do this little segment just to explain the process a little bit better but um honestly the pain was like nothing um i did have numbing cream on which you would have seen but basically she puts um a cannula in here and the which is like the entry point for the needle and then the needle just goes into my lip like from here Wait, I actually can't remember where the... Yeah, from here in. And then once it's in, she then pulls it out and then releases, like, the solution or the treatment into my lip in, like, one smooth line. So it's so much better than having lip fillers that are, like, injection, 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 injection. Because there's no bruising. Like, I've literally just got home. I've got a little bit of lip balm on. Um, but, yeah nothing fine no bruising no swelling like they're literally fine you can see um i mean my skin's really bad at the moment but you can see a couple of little dots where the cannula went in but apart from that it's literally fine um i could literally go out right now and i wouldn't mind but yeah as you can see i've just got a little bit of volume just in the top and bottom i just had um five mil that was it in my whole mouth so um i had like a little little bit like what just over one on each side and she went into the top the bottom the top and the bottom the only thing i would say is that um i mean it literally took a matter of minutes it was so so quick and it's not painful it's just uncomfortable like just be prepared for it to be a little bit uncomfortable like my eyes were watering quite a lot because it's just a very uncomfy feeling when the cannula goes in it's like a sharp scratch like as they say um and that's quite like a sharp feeling but i didn't really care about that that was fine because it lasts for like one second um i just took like a deep breath as it was going in and then it's done but once the needle goes in it does feel a little bit uncomfy um i wouldn't say pain though it wasn't pain but it was just like oh that's a bit weird just weird but yeah, I'm so happy with them. Exactly what I wanted. Like, you can't even really tell a difference. I can tell a huge difference. And I also think in my photos and when I'm filming and stuff, it just... I feel like it just completes my face a little bit better. But obviously, I look a bit awful right now because I feel really dishevelled. It's also raining outside. But, um... Yeah, I'm so pleased with it. So thank you so, so much, Carrie. And Viva Skin. Carrie is an amazing, amazing nurse. She's so good. So I really, really recommend going to her. She does all sorts of stuff. She also specialises in skin quite a bit. So um, if you've got anything that you want to go in there for, then I really recommend it. Um, I'm so glad I went there. It felt so safe and comfortable. Usually I'm a bit like nervous to do anything like that. Um, but because I went in for a consultation and I met her and I asked her loads of questions, I just felt super safe. So on that note, if you do want to book a consultation, um, if you just go on the website or just call up and book your consultation, you pay, I think it's £50. And then that £50 is then taken off any treatment that you then want to book. Or if you don't want to go ahead with it, you get that £50 refunded back to you, which I think is really, really good. And it just allows you to go in get to know the space, get to know the nurse and everything, and then ask loads of questions. So, yeah. Hello, it's much later now. I think it's like five o'clock. 
And I've just put my dinner in the oven. I'm having some sea bass and roasted vegetables. I've put some, I think, asparagus, sweet potato, um, some red pepper and a couple of tomatoes. Nice and yummy. And, oh, the sun's just come out. It's so nice. I was literally saying to my mum earlier, I really hope we get, like, a nice sunny autumn because it's just my favourite time of year. Um, just to give you an update on my lips, they are a little bit sore, not like really painful, just a tiny bit sore and they are a bit swollen. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but yeah, they are a little bit swollen, a lot more than they were when it was first done. But that is to be expected, she just, she did say that they might um, get a little bit swollen this afternoon. Hello everyone, I haven't spoken for a few days. I decided that I would leave a little gap between filming like the end clip and the one that I just showed you, which was when I had just got them done and they were quite swollen. Now you can see it's now Monday and I filmed that clip on Thursday. So I've waited quite a few days. The swelling's completely gone down. Um, in that last clip, actually, I was just editing, you can see that one side was quite swollen. That's completely gone down. Um, yeah, I haven't got, like, any lumps, anything. I'm very pleased and very impressed, but I just wanted to show you my lips with nothing on, my lips with lip balm, and then my lips with, like, lip liner, and then with a lip gloss, just to show you, like, how they look so different once I start applying my products. So, lip balm, I'm using this one from Chanel, which I love, it's my favourite one. I will link these down below in case you want any of these products. But I do think my lips look really different uh, before lip filler as well, when I have products on. So, this is with lip balm on. So you can see it just kind of plumps them a little bit, hydrates them, makes them a little bit glossy. Then I'm going to use a little bit of liner. This is a MAC liner, which really needs to sharpen. I think this is the shade Strip Down. Yeah, Strip Down. So let me just... Line them a little bit. So kind of every day... Every day lip for me is like a lip balm and a lip liner. So these are my lips with lip liner. Sorry I did that so messy. But sorry about this lighting. This camera is so bad for lighting. But you can see um, it just plumps them that little bit more. Adds a little bit of shape. And then I'm just going to go on top of that with my NYX lip cream. Uh, this is the matte one. This is the shade Abu Dhabi which is my everyday I wear this literally every day. I need to get a new one, actually. And I feel like this just gives my lips a little bit more fullness. And a really nice colour, so there we go. That's how they look with, like, matte. I'm going to go on top with gloss, and everyone knows gloss makes your lips look unreal. This is the Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper from Dior, which is honestly the best lip gloss I've ever used in my life. So I'm just gonna pop some of this on. You don't really need too much of this because it's super glossy. And yeah, there's my lips with all my lip products on. That's kind of like my combo that I use most days, like if I'm going out or shooting or whatever. But yeah. So I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Rachel and Carrie and everyone at Viva Skin for having me in and I absolutely love my lips so much. I had loads of DMs from you guys on Instagram when I posted my like little stories that I did on Instagram. I think I posted them on Saturday. Um, and so many of you were saying that you really want to get lip fillers or you're really interested in like getting them for a natural enhancement rather than like big lips and i'm so glad that i posted them and i've worked with fever on this because i think it really like brings to light how you can have such a small enhancement but it can really change like your face or how you see your face and things like that thank you so much and if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comments below or just dm me 
and yeah i hope you enjoyed this little beauty video and i will see you in my next one bye